Hey there, welcome back to day four of our 10 day Christmas junk journal series. I'm thrilled to have you here with me again. Today's project is going to be extra special because we'll be embossing a beautiful Christmas tree. But here's the twist, no traditional embossing tools needed. So for anyone who might be joining in the series just now, in the first three days, I've shared these ideas all with free templates to print and make of fantastic Christmas themed journaling ideas. Not everyone has access to fancy embossing tools. So I wanted to show you a creative way to achieve that embossed look using simple everyday materials. Okay, so let's get started and you're not going to believe how easy this is to do. But there are a couple of techniques that I'm going to show you to make sure that you're able to do it without tearing your paper. So what you're going to need is a template of the Christmas tree and I've got this available for you on my website. The link is in the description below. And you'll also need some ball stylus tools. These are just little hand tools. You can get these off Amazon. I've put the link in the description box below for you. So you can either check out what they look like and how much they are. Or if you think you've got some in your stash, dig them out and you'll be able to use them. Now this one here, we won't be using today. I've just put that in here because it was in my mum's stash. So you can just see better on camera what they look like. You could make this with just these two sizes here. Now when you get to my website to download this template, this one here is for hand cutting. But if you've got a Cricut machine or a scan and cut, there's an SVG file for you there. So you can just go ahead, send that SVG file to your scan and cut machine and you can cut that out on your scan and cut machine, which is what I've done here. Now I'm going to explain the thickness of the cardstock because that's important as to how your embossing turns out. This white sheet is 250 GSM. Not every printer will allow a 250 GSM to go through it. So if your printer won't take a heavier cardstock, just put one sheet through of a copy paper maybe, and then just get a piece of cardstock out of your stash and glue the copy paper on top. Once you've glued the copy paper on top, you'll be able to then go ahead, cut out your square and then your Christmas tree. This sheet here is craft cardstock. This here is 280 GSM. That goes through my printer. I can print over 300 GSM. So if your printer will take a heavier cardstock, use 280 or 300 GSM or any, any color. It doesn't matter what color it is. It's, you're only after the template. So this one is 176 GSM. Just use what you've got. It will work. So for the hand cutting, I'll just use this one here for the demonstration. I'm just using a Fiskars finger blade. You could use your craft knife and just use the pointy part of your craft knife or any other blade that you've got that cuts out templates. And then just cut out your box to the outline. When you cut your little tree out by hand, you pretty much destroy the star and your tree. So you, you may not be able to use your tree as an embellishment. So it doesn't really matter whether you cut your tree out first or the outline of your box here. You do whichever part 
first that is comfortable to you. So then your template should look like this. Now we're going to emboss two ways. This sheet of paper is before we've made our journal and then I'm going to do an emboss on this sheet that's already in the journal. So we'll practice on a sheet that's just loose first. So I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to put a tree on the back here. So work out where you want your tree. I'm going to put it in the corner here. You've got to work out whether you want it emboss or deboss. If you do it the wrong way around, you're going to have that on the front of your page and that on the inside of your page. So if it doesn't matter to you, just put that anywhere you want. But I want the emboss on the outside of the page. And emboss means it's raised and deboss means it's pushed down into the paper. So we're going to push this down into the paper on this side so my emboss shows up on this side. I'm going to use the corner of my outline square to line up with the corner of my book page. Now, two reasons for that. I might need to come back and touch this up. I'll know where to put it. I'm going to get my ball stylus and I'm going to use the biggest ball on this one. I don't know what size these are because they're not labelled. So you just use what you think works. So we've got to work out where this tree is under this paper because you can't see it. So I'm just going to use my finger. Now the camera's going to shake here so I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to find the outline of this tree. It's just going to help me start off my embossing. And then I'm going to use my ball stylus to press against the edge of that template. And this is why I'm using the bigger one. You don't need to go in with a small stylus and just go around the edge. If you're not sure where your tree is, just lift it up and have a look. We're essentially tracing around the edge of that template. And just scribbling backwards and forwards with a light, a medium to heavy pressure, not too heavy. Just go in light to medium on your first pass. I know how heavy I can go because I've done it before. So for you to practice, go a little bit, little bit light to medium. Now, if you go gun ho see how you run off the page, you will mark your page. So when you get to these corners, try and slow down. Come all the way around your tree till you back up to the star. Now, my tip to do the star is just do a ball in the middle just do a circle a lot of circle runs and then come up to your tips right now i'm going to change ends and come to a smaller ball and then come into the tips of the star and i'm going very light if you go too heavy you will tear your paper so try adjusting the pressure of your hand just lighten up a bit and then go heavier with each pass. Now I'm using the smaller stylus still and I'm opening up that space between the tree and the star. Because there's a little gap there. Then I'm using my small ball stylus and I'm coming back around the tree again, concentrating in these corners on my way around both the inside corners and the outside corners. If your cardstock is too thick, you will risk ripping your paper doing this. So that now I can have a little look and there's my emboss, there's my deboss. So this is how you can do your embossing at home without any expensive embossing tools. It's subtle. It doesn't have to be in your face. It is just something subtle when you turn your page. 
it looks much better in person. I know now I'm going to do it directly on my book page in the book. If I, this book was gifted to me, if I made this book, I would definitely be embossing this page before I sewed the pages in. I want my emboss to show on this side, so I need to put my template on the bottom and I'm going to start my work on this side. So if you look at it this way, if I do my pressing on this side, it's going to show up as an emboss on that side. So I'm going to put a just a heavy sheet of cardboard just there to protect the bottom page. I'm going to rub so I can see where my tree is. You only need to get it started just so it gives you a bit of a, a help as to where you're em embossing. I'm using the bigger end of my stylus and I'm going to start at the top here and gently work my way around. I'm just using backwards and forward strokes. You can see where I come off the page then and I, I left a mark. Try not to do that because that mark will stay forever there. Back to the star and I'm just doing circles in the middle, changing the end of my tool to a smaller end and defining the shape of the star gently. I can't tell you enough how gently you need to go when you're doing these smaller bits. Then joining the star up with the tree gently. Then coming back around the tree to press a little bit harder and get the corners of that tree showing up. Get this shape. I can tell it's working out fine. This paper is quite thin, so I don't need to press overly hard. So practice, practice, practice. Now we can take our transfer off and we have a beautiful Christmas tree emboss in our journal. And it's a journal that's already been made. Practice a little bit outside of your journal before you do this because you don't want to tear your paper. So I can still journal on the top of this page and I've got that beautiful embossed Christmas tree on the bottom. Now you're not restricted to doing a Christmas tree. You can do something nice and curvy like this. This is the date for Christmas Day. So if you want to put something like this on here, you've got to remember that you've got to do it in reverse. So we would be doing it like this. I would be pressing on this side to have it emboss on this side. So then I pull that away and slide it under there. So then that would turn out correctly there. So if I do that, this should work. So I'm going to put my cardboard in there. I'm going to try and figure out where my, my letters are by pressing with my finger. And just start that outline of that number five and that two. And start off with my biggest ball again and go gently around that number five. I just use the internal numbers on the scan and cut machine to get this number 25. I didn't hand cut this one. It's much neater to use a, an electronic cutting machine. All right, now to find the two, change back to the bigger end of my stylus tool, by the way. Once I find the start of it, I'm pretty right. And that one's done. Again, a very subtle number 25, but it's on there and I can see it quite well. It looks very cool on that page. You can do it on a variety of papers. 
This is copy paper and it's coffee dyed. This is just notepad paper. This is deli paper. I had to press very lightly on this, but it still works. So you can use light deli paper. And this is around about, this is a 300 GSM watercolor paper. So I just spritzed my paper on both sides. When you're using a really thick paper like this, you can't use that rubbing technique. You'll start rubbing the top layer of your paper off your watercolor paper. Everything I'd done was just by rubbing and lifting to see where I had to go. But you can do it. You just have to sort of remember the shape of your tree. Once you figure out where that tree goes, the the stylus sort of follows it along quite well. So the more practice you do if you're using watercolour paper, the neater that debossing side will be and you'll be able to use it. But that looks pretty cool. I loved it on the watercolour paper. Thanks so much for crafting with me today. I can't wait to see all of your wonderful embossed Christmas trees. Come on over to Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see the pictures of what you've created. I'll see you tomorrow for day five. I can't believe it. It's day five already. We're making a very simple recipe card. As usual, there'll be a free printable for you to download. See you tomorrow.